Hi everyone, it's Chris here from Britsent. Today I'm going to be reading um, one of my favourite poems by one of my favourite poets, William Butler Yeats. Yeats is regarded as one of the most important poets writing in English in the 20th century. And a good thing for people learning English is that his poems are relatively short and quite accessible. He also talks about issues that all of us can relate to, um, love and death, a war and modern life, uh, art and immortality. So before we get on to the poem, let me sketch a few details about his life. Um, Yeats was born in 1865 in Ireland to a prosperous artistic family. He started writing at a very young age and he continued writing until his death in 1939. Uh, during his lifetime, he was a poet, an essayist, a dramatist, a theatre manager, and he was even a senator in the Irish government. So, let's start with one of his early poems, and also one of his most famous poems, A Wishes for the Cloths of Heaven. It's from his 1899 collection, The Wind Among the Reeds and it's a poem that every school child in Ireland knows about. Something I should mention also before I start reading is um, that Yeats likes to write in uh, the voices of a variety of different characters. So this uh, poem is written in the voice of A. Um, it's an Irish name. Uh, it's spelt A-E-D-H, but it's pronounced A. And A is this romantic, uh, lovelorn character who is obsessed with this woman who isn't very interested in him and she holds a lot of power over him. So, let's have a look at the poem. A Wishes for the Cloths of Heaven From The Wind Among the Reeds by William Butler Yeats had I the heavens embroidered cloths, and wrought with golden and silver light, the blue and the dim and the dark cloths of night and light and the half-light, I would spread the cloths under your feet. But I, being poor, have only my dreams. I have spread my dreams under your feet. Tread softly because you tread on my dreams. Okay, so what is the situation in this poem? Well, A is talking to the woman that he loves and he's saying that he wants to have this, this amazing cloth made of the heavens, made of the stars. Maybe you might notice that there is a conditional sentence um, in the first five lines of the poem. Um, and it's actually a second conditional. Um, the poem starts, had I, but this is just a poetic way of saying, if I had. So it's a conditional sentence. Basically what he's saying is, um, if I had this cloth made of stars, I would spread it in front of your feet like a rug in order to show you how much I love you. Um, and this rug might be symbolizing money or power or his achievements. Um, it's not very clear. It doesn't really matter though, because the important thing is that A doesn't actually have these cloths of heaven. He only has his dreams. And what he's doing is he's basically spreading his dreams in front of her, like a sort of rug. And he's saying, you have the power over me. You have the power to destroy my dreams. All you need to do is step on them. And he's asking her to be very, very careful. Now, you might say that there's something quite honest about the way that A um, makes himself vulnerable in front of his love. Or you could say that he's quite foolish at the same time, because it's not very clear what um, the attitude of the beloved is, the woman. Um, so, to my mind, this poem is so beautifully ambiguous 
there's a really tense relationship between these two people. One of them has so much power, he, this woman could destroy his dreams if she wanted to. So it's an interesting question. I don't know. I'll leave it to you to decide if you think、um, A is being brave or if he's being honest or if he's being、um, foolish.、Um, that's for you to decide. That's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed listening to some of Yeats's poetry. And if you have any suggestions of poems or favorite poets that you would like me to read, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time.